And I also wanted to just mention something that's completely off topic from vaccines. But I had a conversation this morning with the Octopi Lord. And they are coming to Clance. And I'm sorry to tell oh, you. that's off topic. It is off topic. But I, I think you guys should know. And it is because they must cleanse the great dark across this planet. And there will be some fatalities. I'm sorry. But they have to do that because they must allow their family to be able to frolic and play in the oceans again. Just like it was intended on this planet. They are very sad for what has happened to their family. And there must be a cleansing so that they can allow their family to prosper and enjoy life on this planet again. So there are going to be some events coming from the great oceanics, the great ancients. I am just telling you guys now. Uh, and you have to understand something. Some of the things that the oceanics could do to our race can happen psionically. Okay, these beings have been alive for probably close to the beginning of time as we understand it or, or this quadrant of the galaxy and that the oceanics are involved intimately with the creation of planets because they indwell these planets once they're fabricated or made or shaped or created. Once these planets begin to populate the multiverse, uh, many of them have water in some form, and the oceanics um, are part of the whole package. So that no matter where you go in the universe, you're probably going to run into oceanics. And these are among some of the greatest minds that have existed since the beginning of all of it. And think of the, the knowledge that some of these beings must possess that they have been alive for, say, a billion years. There would be literally probably nothing they, they wouldn't know, what they're capable of, and these kind of minds are capable of, of exercising their will simply by thought. So, um, and, and they are choosing to re-inhabit our planet and re-inhabit the water again and make them pure enough so that uh, their children can frolic and play and there was something else that he said to me i'm going to link the video but he told me the other day we sat and watched the opening games for the sydney olympics and it was one of the most beautiful incredible opening ceremonies and humanity was at the verge of coming together at that time and he told me this this morning that the uh bankers and the elites could see that we were just about at the pinnacle of regaining our consciousness as a family of human beings coming together. That Olympic Games had something to do with the turning point. And then they destroyed it. The whole turning point changed within the year with the 9-11 towers coming down because they said we can't have them coming together. That Olympic game actually scared the crap out of the elites on this planet. They actually accelerated their, yes. their time frame yes. because they weren't going to pull the whole 9-11 thing until a few years later, but it was the 2000 o Olympic Games in Sydney, yes. Australia, which, by the way, I told Victoria this the other day after re-watching that again. I said if there would be one thing that we could point to as a race that we did right... It, was, it that. was that moment in time because it brought together every tribe, every person, everyone in the entire world was brought together for that night. And it represented the Oceanics too. And it was absolutely magical and it represented the Oceanics. It represented Father as the Great Spirit. Yes, yes, if you haven't seen it, it's an amazing you've got to see it. The, it the, the you, you please watch this. It's worth watching because I think it is really where humanity was at its finest moment. And it brought together all of these different things that made Australia beautiful. And you'll learn a little bit about Australia too when you watch it. And it was deemed one of the best opening games ever to be presented at the time. Yeah. And it was just simply amazing. So they were talking to me about that this morning. Um, well, the Octopi Lord was talking to me about that. And uh, he was just saying to me, not all tentacles are bad. And it was just beautiful. It was so beautiful, it made me cry. And uh, 
they told me that they look at me like the little girl in that opening ceremony, Nikki, the little Australian girl who learned so much about her culture and giving and receiving back. So that was really special for me. So I'm going to put it up on the cutting room floor and I want you guys to watch it because it'll tug at your heartstrings. We were about to come together as one people around the world when those menaces, the elites, the um, Illuminati said we can't have that. So they created 9-11. And they were actually inspired to start using darker symbolism in larger public displays after this after after 9-11 and after all the negativity then we began to see the satanic half times in uh for example the super bowl okay that's when we started seeing but this was the beginning now this little girl had some balls okay they hooked her to wires and this girl was probably at least 10 stories at one point in the air and and they have this incredible wire show how they coordinated all this was just amazing but if you get a chance to see it it really really is cool and actually uh, all of the entertainment through the 2000 olympics was amazing um, simply because it was this culture of bringing everyone together and it had to happen in australia it was such a magical night the opening of the games and everybody was involved there was a whole stadium of people just filled and everyone was dancing and laughing and having a good time it, it is well worth watching so if you get a chance to see it i would strongly recommend it you'll feel the energy and you'll feel the connectivity too to, I, I mean i actually felt really really connected at that time to victoria because i understood kind of this is the culture she came from and this is uh the beautiful part of australia that most people don't talk about you know you hear all the jokes about you know australia and you know riding kangaroos down melbourne and all this other stuff but the real truth in the history and heritage of australia is incredibly diverse and wealthy and rich and worth telling and it's an amazing story filled with adventure and cowboys and uh, aboriginals and all kinds of amazing events that took place. So it's definitely worth hearing about. And I think it would make you a better person in society seeing this and knowing this. I think that's, I think that's going to do it this morning. Um, thank you for listening again. I'm going to put this podcast up and then I will also put a link underneath showing you the Australian Sydney Open Games. Um, and we hadn't seen it for a, a few years, and when we watched it, especially the tribes dancing, you could feel the energy oh, pulsating amazing. through your very veins. And I really encourage you to watch it, because at the end of the ceremony, they paid homage to the great spirit in the sky. And the meaning of no mouth in the great spirit means that he doesn't cast judgment and that was just the most beautiful thing he observes and he watches but he doesn't cast judgment and that's the creator the great spirit i know and with that we'll say take me the damn good show hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you guys are funny right <laughs> That's one of the, what's the, the twins there that you yeah, guys like to watch at. The they're, they're pretty funny guys. They yeah, really are. Twins. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. cool. Yeah. Anyhow, well, anyhow, guys, thanks. We look forward to the next time. And we hope your day is going wonderful and well. Don't forget about us. We're going to be having some changes to the website over the next few days. So if you catch us with our pants down, we apologize. Uh, but we got to update stuff every now and then, refresh everything, change some imagery, and just make it an altogether better place to come and visit. And hopefully spend a few dollars every now and then on your end. Remember, we love you all. And at any time, if you feel free, uh, if your heart makes you feel so inclined, a small donation from time to time would be wonderful. Or just join the cutting room floor if you haven't already. You're probably hearing this on the cutting room floor, but you never know with Victoria. She might surprise us with another wonderful wonderful video and don't forget to check out Aradil's art which will be up in a few days it's going to be a great website you'll be able to come visit and for all of you that wanted something colorful and wonderful well there you go uh from uh Stephen a jones and everyone else here when the ancients speak mike victoria and sometimes ryan yeah, no. that's where i get told to shut up have a great day bye y'all